Hey everyone, so this is a GDT gate drive transformer instructional video. Basically, this assumes you have your GDT all which already set and wound. It is 15 turns of 22 gauge uh, solid core trifilier wire, which basically we take 48 inches of 22 gauge wire, three different colors, or you can use the same color, but that's a real bitch to do. Um, put one end in the chuck of a drill, and the other one either in a vise or um, in some pliers and someone's fr a friend's hand because you're not going to be able to reach 48 inches across, at least not I can. Um, and tighten it up so it's a nice, tight, well coupled wire. Also gives it some rigidity, which is nice. Anyway, 15 turns, clamp it down with a uh, little zip line so it stays on there nice and neat. And then this is basically how you do the phasing without an oscilloscope. Real easy, it's very, very simple, but it can easily get mistaken if you don't label it. So we're going to be taking a little bit of tape, and we'll just tape off the quote-unquote positive ones. Obviously it's a non-polar device, but just thinking of as one side positive makes it a bit easier. So what you're going to do is take one of these six-inch strands, and you're going to unwind it to about an inch away from the base. Once you get started, they come apart real easy. The other side. Forgive me if the camera doesn't show very much, and uh, forgive me for the floor shot, but this is the only way I can do a hands free camera. doesn't matter if you have the colors in order, but it certainly makes it a bit easier if you do. There. doesn't matter which one you decide is your primary or not because it's a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one transformer. Okay. Now, the easiest way to do this is pick which winding you want to be your anti-phase winding. I'll go with black for the anti-phase. So simply what you do then is you pair off the other wires. Green with green, just bend them down. Red with red, bend them down as well. You can see from the side shot, just bend down, just keep them off. And for the anti -para for the anti-phase one, you simply switch them. So see it this way. Bend that one over there, this one over here. They're not really twisted, they're just bent together a little bit. So they cross, and they'll be together that way. Now, let's see if I can get a clean shot of this for you. Looking down on them, that way. All these will be our positives, all these will be our negatives. So now we just label them off. The reason why we label them is we must twist these leads again. And if we don't label them, it's real hard to tell which one is on the, that side and which one is on that side. A little piece of tape at the end is all we need to label it. So repeat that for these two. Once we're done, we can take the tape off. It doesn't matter. As I said, it's not a polar device. It's just a little mnemonic tool to help us remember. Okay. 
once again so you can see it from here. These are simply on this end of the winding. These are on this end of the winding. And the black one is the only one that gets crossed. Now, these are all be our positives, quote unquote. These would be the negatives. We take them and we wrap them back together, color to color. Bending the black and red out of the way so I can do the green. It doesn't have to be such a tight wrapping as you did with the uh, power tool. It just has to be close enough that they're well coupled. Keep the stray and leakage inductances quite down. Just like that. Now you can see why we needed the tape to tell which one's which. Again with the next color. I'm just wrapping the blacks around the other direction, but again since we taped off the lead it doesn't matter. But you should spin them all the same direction. All three pairs. Lastly, the red. There you have it, a properly phased GDT, ready for action. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps.